How you doing? Bob Spike and Joe, I'm doing great. How are you? Awesome. So uh, did you take out an insurance policy on this? No insurance policy. The insurance policy came out of my pocket. Oh, self-insured. Self-insured. So, so is it really $7 million? Actually, uh, the accountant gave me the new number this morning, $7,385,056. <laughs> oh, you got a good I'm accountant. A, you, you have a lot of furniture stores. How many furniture stores do you have? Two. I'm going to have a third uh, in the... Uh, this coming summer, but two right now. So people went to your furniture store knowing there was a 50-50 shot that you would have to give all the money back. And on the upside, you sold a ton of furniture. On the downside, you lost your shirt. That's exactly right. And my shirt, shoes and my pants. Are you out of business? No, we're still in business. We're uh, certainly very, very solvent. The purpose of the promotion was to create something that was topical and to bring in other customers who wouldn't buy, uh, you know, the $6,000 or, or so worth of furniture. So we sold a lot of other furniture that wasn't part of the promotion. But for everybody who bought 6000 more, about 1,000 families spent an average of about $7,300 a piece. So we're giving back $7,385,000 worth of free furniture to our great customers because of the great Seattle win on Sunday. Yeah, but hold on a second. Yeah. You, you don't. You know that the numbers don't make sense. I mean, it's not worth $7 million for you to do this. Well, I've gotten about $25 million worth of publicity the last Atta year. Attaboy! Uh, maybe. Well, <laughs> if, you, if you had a location in Seattle, it would be great, but you've only got two stores. So how is this publicity going to help you? Well, a lot, lots of publicity in Texas, and we do eventually uh, – we're trying to expand our internet site, so at least we'll be known around the country. But lots of publicity, and the other thing is, it brought out about eighty percent of the customers who came out for the promotion were new customers. Most of them were millennials, people that had never shopped here before. And our job now is to turn them into lifetime customers, and then we'll be able to get the money back by keeping these customers as lifetime customers here at Gallery Furniture. Jim, are you married? I am married. Yes. Have you checked so today? Have you checked? <laughs> are you still today? married? Yeah. <laughs> I may be divorced by the end of the afternoon. I was going to say, <laughs> and my Mac, wife would not like this idea. Mac is front page news on ESPN. Yeah. There's a link to this story on ESPN's front page. Congratulations. Front page. And, you know, I, uh, during the game, I didn't watch the game because I hadn't been able to exercise for weeks. So I was on a Stairmaster for two and a half hours. I got off the Stairmaster. I called my wife and said, who won the game? She said, Seattle blew them out. I said, well, great. We just blew $7,385,000. <laughs> oh, my Yikes. God. Now, how did you decide on the team? I understood it was some kind of coin flip, but when did this coin flip take place? Did people know they were rooting for Seattle when they bought this furniture? Yeah, I, I, the idea was percolating after the division playoff game, and so we flipped the coin. It was kind of a t toss-up game anyway, Denver or Seattle. We flipped the coin, and uh, the uh, customers got Seattle, and the store got Denver, and the uh, Seattle uh, customers obviously made a lot of uh, – Made a good choice on that coin flip, and they, uh, it, it was a great promotion, and uh, uh, God bless the Seahawks. They did a wonderful job. You know, the interesting thing about this, uh, Jim, is that had you, the store owner, won, you would have got no publicity. No one would have cared. No one would have cared. You're That's right. right. So, so in a way, you had to be hoping for this because if you did it for the publicity— and to show what a great guy you are and that you cared about your customers, then this is the perfect outcome for you. Not for your wife, but for you. It was definitely the perfect outcome for, for the long term. For the short term, we put a little hit in this, yeah. this quarter. How, how rich are you, Jim? i got to ask. What are you worth? What's your net worth? Uh, the store's annual volume is about $120 million, so it's about 6% of our annual volume. There you go. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And the long term, I'm assuming now this has got to be a tradition, and you can't lose every time. I mean, if you can lose 50% uh, yeah, of the yeah, time. If you, if you do this next it, year. It amounts to about a $3.5 million advertising budget if you do this every year. You're going to do it every year, right, Jim? Well, we're planning on doing it again next year, uh, depending on what type of year we have. And, you know, a lot of it depends on uh, the. Uh, how close the game is. I think if they had been a 10-point underdog, it wouldn't have been nearly as exciting to have one team or the other. But since it was such a tightly matched game, it made it better. Yeah. Well, it was so tightly matched that uh, that your team got blown out. But sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to – It looked good going gonna, in. Blown out is not the word for it. Yeah, yeah I don't think you can begin. ever trust Vegas. Remember, Vegas is not really about who's the better team. Uh, Vegas is about who's willing to bet on who.
It's a, you know, the spread is determined more by uh, the fans' willingness to wager their money than it is by how good the team is. Yeah, some guy sent me an email yesterday of a uh, Peyton Manning wearing his jersey, sitting on the sideline, bewildered. And it said, sorry, Mac, my bad. So I thought that was yeah. <laughs> if you could, if you wanted oh. to keep it uh, statistically, uh, you know, less scary for yourself, you could always just go with the Vegas point spread and do the same thing. Yeah, we wanted to make it simple where the customers knew it was a simple proposition and you could explain it in an elevator in about five seconds. So it was a very simple proposition. If mm. Seattle wins, you get 100% of your money back, and that resonated with the customers. We had five times the business we normally had the last two weeks. So it was a, it was a great promotion. It exposed lots of new customers to the store. They loved the, the selection, the service, and the delivery process. So it was a, it was a win-win for Wonderful. us. We just lost $7 million, but we got <laughs> to yeah. 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 You, Put you, our big boy britches on and go make it back. Put you you spent $7 million on promotion. Jim Mattress Mac in Mackingvale. Oh, no, your last name is Mackingvale. You're in Houston, right? Right, right I'm in Houston. Uh, it would be weird if everything around you was named after you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jim, all the best. The town, the bank. All right, guys, day. thanks, and uh, congratulations in Seattle. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks, Mac. What a good guy. What kind of toothpaste do you need?